everybody. And I don't blame people for that because people have trust issues. Kaya nga sa, sa economy natin, nauso yung mga promissory note. May firmahan, may date. I promise to pay this amount by November 30, blah, 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 blah. And then may firma doon. And papanotaryo pa niya. Right? It, become, it becomes a legal document. That's why people, kapag ka pinangakuha mo siya ng, ng, ano, ng promise, hindi, hey, magpumahan tayo. Para, ano, para pwede ka lang idumahan daw pagkatapos. May mga trust issues sa mga tao, hindi lang nang paliwalain. Ito, angel na to, nagsabi na siya kay, ano, kay, 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 kay Zekaraya, pero ayaw pa rin maniwala ng Zekaraya. Ano sabi ni, ano, sabi ni uh, Gabriel, sabi niya, the angel said to him, I am Gabriel. May pakilala pa sa'yo, di ba? Hello, Zekaraya, angel na ko. Ako si Gabriel, sabi niya, I stand in the presence of God and I have been sent to speak to you and tell you this good news. Pero matapit ka na ito, ang nahirap tayong maniwala sa sinasabi ng Lord sa atin. Sabi ng Lord sa'yo, you will be a leader. Well, hindi nga, patunay. <laughs> Parang, hindi sabi ng Lord, hindi sinasabi ko sa'yo, you will be a leader. May nagsabi ba sa'yo na, ano, na magiging leader ka? Sabi mo sa leader mo, yung angel mo, mala, yung new cell leader mo, mala angel, sabi mo, magiging cell leader ka. Hindi <laughs> ko may halo. But the truth is, we receive the word from God and we receive a real word. That's why when we receive a word, you need to conceive it in your heart. May mga tao that they read the word of God at tumataan lang sa, sa notes nila. They hear the word of God from one ear and then it goes out to the other ear. So when you hear a word of God, when you receive it, you have to really conceive that word. Kailangan tanggapin mo talaga siya. Do among you here receive a word that you will be an entrepreneur. Pero wala pa ngayon yung business. But because you receive that word, it's a real word in your life. You have to believe that it will happen. At alam niyo ba, you need to be very careful. I need to warn us. Because we need to be very careful. Dahil kapag ka, na hindi mo na protektahan yung, yung promise na yun, yung miracle na yun, the enemy can snatch it away from you. Kaya anong ginawa ng, kaya the third step, the third step is to really Conceive the miracle. Kasi sabi sa kanila, conceive. Conceive, conceive. conceive is when uh, a woman uh, conceives the child in in her in her womb. So basically, from from nothing, it becomes something in her womb. So kaya kapag ka musig yung mga steps na yun, you need to pray for it, you need to receive it, and then you need to conceive it. Para magkaroon na ng ano ng life, yung yung promise na binigay sa us. So you need to conceive it. How do you conceive it? You have to surround your people with yourself with people with the same vision. Amen. Don't surround yourself with doubters or with people na walang mga So you need to surround yourself with dreamers because they will really help you grow and conceive whatever miracles that God has planted in your heart. Next number, number four is you need to protect your miracle. That the person has to you, protect your miracle. So, pag may miracle ka, you need to keep it safe hanggang sa mailabas mo yung miracle na yun. Imagine mo, sige ito merong ano, may kilala kang friend na nagbubutis. Di ba sobrang careful ng friend mo na yun? Talagang, hindi siya pwede pagbukati ng mabigat, hindi siya pwede pag-akitin sa hapgan, because she is conceiving something in her own. Kaya kapag kami nakita kang buntis, Sometimes they are, they're always taking the extra thing. Dahil nga priority is sila yung mga buntis, yung mga pinay, yung mga nagbanda. Because, because, or mga well-aged years. So, they get that priority because they're, they're weak enough to, to handle their their buntas. And kahit yung buntis, dalawang tao equivalent yun, kaya kailangan sobrang careful niya. So, nung time na to, you need to protect. Si Zechariah had to protect the miracle that God has given. And you know, the application here is that when you receive something from God, you need to protect it. Kaya ano yung sinabi sa next verse? It said in the next verse here, dahil nga nagpakilala si Gabriel sa kanya, verse 20, And now you will be silent and not be able to speak until this day happens, because you did not believe my words which will not come, which will come true at their appointed time. Para siyang wata pa na tayo magkamang dahil yung kanyang ka. Mag-iipi-ipi ka. Pero pagka natutunan mo na yung lesson mo, you will receive the miracle. 
Ay, misa nag-uumpisa, parang pangit, tapos bigay nung humakait siya, humakait na rin siya. This is a scary thing. This is just a, um, a, a fiction or a, a thing of the, of the imagination. But fear, this is true. But when God gives you something, you need to prevent it with your words. You know, I experienced this in my life when I repented to God. Kapag may ginagawa ang Lord, alam niyo ba na you can, you can stop it with your words. Okay, you, you can, you can, um, kasi words are really powerful. Words are, it, 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 it's, words are like um, a weapon which can destroy the miracle. Or words can be a tool that will build the miracle. Sinasabi ng Lord sa'yo, anak, I will make you fruitful. Pero sinasabi mo, Lord, hindi ko kaya. Lord, hindi ko to uyan. Lord, hindi ako naniniwala. Lord, yan na lang talaga. Lord, hanggang dito lang talaga yung buhay ko. Because if you keep on saying that, you will, you will um, expose the miracle and it will be snatched away from you. Kaya ang ginawa ng Lord, dahil hindi kaya protektahan ni Zechariah yung kanyang miracle, si Lord na mismo nagprotect dun sa miracle niya. So what did God do? Ginawa niyang ipis si Zechariah. Kesa magsabi ka ng negative words, huwag ka na lang magsalita. You know, I'm a very outspoken and opinionated kind of person. And minsan, uh, that's one thing that I need to really um, take care of. Di ba? Na parang, kapag may ginagawa ang Lord, huwag ka na lang bumunta, huwag ka na lang magsabi ng negative words. Mm-hmm. Huwag mag-i-hear ka nang gagawin. Pakasabi sa kayo, huwag ka na bumunta. Amen? Magiging cell leader ka, huwag ka na bumunta. Parang din yun na yun. Parang iba yung natin sa inyo na because that's the truth eh. Hindi lang ba nangyayari sa physical that you will conceive a child, but also to potential leaders. Alisin mo na sa mind mo yung ano magagawa ko. Alisin mo na sa mind mo yung hindi ko kaya yan. I'm too young. I'm too old. I'm too um, I'm too poor. I'm too unskillful. At ayaw mong excuse. At ayaw mong limitations. But you know what? Limitations are the breeding ground for miracles. Amen? Kasi kapag ka nakikita mo yung yung yung, yung um, need na yun, may nakita ka na nakakulangan sa buhay mo. That's the opportunity for God to create a miracle in your life. Amen? Kaya kapag may miracle ka, you need to make sure that you protect it. Hebrews 3 verse 12 See to it, brothers and sisters, that none of you has a sinful, unbelieving heart that turns away from the living God. Alam niyo ba that we can be believers, we can be Christians all in this room. But we have an unbelieving heart. Nakita na ba kayo ng ganong Christian? Iwasan niyo yung ganong Christian na puro negative words yung sabi. Diba? Because we can be believers, but our hearts are unbelieving. Kaya nga may warning dito, see to it that you don't have a sinful and unbelieving heart. When God gives you a miracle, you need to have a believing heart. That will just say Amen. That will just say yes to it. You know, si Pastor Cesar has been teaching us about the principles of Genesis. Now, when you are creating, when you are believing something that God will do in your life, you need to stay within the grounds of the tree of life, not under the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Because in the tree of life, life yung lumalabas doon, you can just say, yes, amen, let's do this. Pero, doon sa tree of knowledge of good and evil, you will ask questions, totoo ba yan? You know, you sound like the serpent. Sinabi ba talaga niya yun? Totoo bang gagawin niya yun? Ang dami mga arguments, ang dami mga questions in his mind. But that if you receive the promise, paniwalaan mo na lang, amen? Now the person I see, paniwalaan na lang natin. And then ang nangyari doon, when you protect the miracle, and it, it continued, verse, verse 21, Meanwhile, the people were waiting for Zechariah and wondering why he stayed so long in the temple. When he came out, he could not speak to them. They realized he had seen the vision in the temple, for he kept making signs to them, but remained unable to speak. Experience mo maging pike for some point. Wala ka ng bosses. And you can't even speak. You can't even say anything. And then sabi sa verse na yun, verse 23, When his time of service was completed, he returned home. After this, his wife, Elizabeth, became pregnant for five months. Remain in seclusion. The Lord has done this for me, she said. In these days, he was shown his favor and taken away my disgrace among the people. Let's all stand up right now. 
Don't let anyone steal the dream that God has placed in your heart. Don't let anyone steal the miracle that God has already given you. The moment that He gave you the word and the promise and He will do it. We can have trust issues with other people. Ang sinabi mo yan, I'm not sure if you will do it. Pero pag ang Lord lang sa atin, I'm so convinced na kahit na matagal kong hintayin, mangyayari, bagay na. Amen? I don't know kung gano'ng katagal yung time na kinasal si Elizabeth sa Kalise Karaya hanggang sa time na to nung na-receive nila yung promise na yun. Pero kung gano'ng makatagal yun, ang sinabi ng Lord ginawa niya. Because when God gives a word, it doesn't remain um, unfulfilled. It will not go back to Him and because that's how powerful the word is in our life. And I, I, I'm, I'm saying this to you right now because we need to be thankful to God for our life today. Amen? Kaya ngayon, sino dito mag-commit ng life niya? Lord, my life is a miracle. That's why I need to protect it. I need to do the vision. I need to do my purpose, which is to love God and to love other people. Amen? A lot of instances in my life. And I can share you a lot of stories. Like at even one point when, when I got rough on the street, Ako kasi I'm a person na ano eh, I always like to put things in order. Na meron akong bag dyan. Alam ko sa kukunin yung gamit ko. Yung wallet ko na sa isang place lang siya. During the time that evening, hindi ko binalit yung wallet ko dun sa, sa bag ko na yun. I don't know, for some reason, nasa bulsa ko lang siya. And sobrang hindi ako for topic pag may, may malaking bagay na nakabukol sa bulsa ko or may bilang na bagay sa bulsa ko. So what I did was that, nasa bulsa ko lang siya. And then I didn't realize that that was in fact a miracle. So pag baba ko nung sakyan, and then may mga kumara na sakyan, I don't even know this story. But for those who haven't heard the story, so pag baba ko nang ganun, and then there were two people who cornered me, who assaulted me. They got all my stuff, tapos may bagay sila, pinalang na sa ulo ko, and then I was bleeding, I got three stitches in my head. Yung time na yun, iniisip ko, huwag na lang pala sabot sa kayong wallet ko. And then I was with Allah the next morning, that's where I got the money to pay for my food. And that's where all my important uh, things are. You know, I ate school, you know, I cried in school. So, because we are aware of the things that are happening. I think of the destruction that But the truth is, going back to the story, God is moving in ways that we don't understand. We just have to appreciate things as they are. Amen? And you be yourself. Pake sa abis ang kadumo. You're a miracle. You're a miracle. We will seek for the miracle in our lives. Meron ba dito sa inyo ngayon na hindi mo pa nai-receive yung miracle na pinag-pray mo? Pake sa abis natin, wala ba na? Hold on. Wag kang magsabi ng negative word. Wag mo pakawalan. Wag mo kalimutan. That's why it's a good practice to keep a dream book, to keep a list of all your prayer requests. Because God will definitely do it. When He said, He will do it. He will do exactly as He has said. Amen? Right now, as, as we continue, I want us to um, receive the promise that God has given to us. So let's all pray. And as we pray, I want you to think of that miracle that you're expecting. And I want you to think that there are miracles in your life. That it's enough for you to believe that God can really do another miracle in your life. Amen? It's a milestone. Eh? And Lord, ginawa mo ito noong una, I know you can do it. I know that you can do something greater than what you have done. That's why I ask you to pray today. We will keep that in our minds. And we will really just allow God to show us that miracle and to give us perseverance to protect that miracle in our lives. Amen? So as we pray, the fourth, the fifth point is preserve your miracle. Amen? And as we pray, I want us to preserve that miracle until it happens in our life. And you know, when you go to a museum, you see a, a, a room full of preserved, preserved animals, preserved artifacts. Because they are a proof that it really happened. A proof that it really existed. When you receive a miracle, my prayer is that you would be able to preserve it. So that every time that a person needs to hear it, you can simply show this is the miracle that God has done in my life. And He can also do the same thing. Amen? Are you ready to pray? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this morning. We thank you for allowing us to understand how you move. 
Lord, although we don't understand your thoughts and your ways, we just simply trust them. Lord, today, as we continually seek for the miracle that you are, um, you are promised to us, we pray that we will not lose heart. We pray that we will continually believe and hold on to the promise. We will not speak anything negative against the promise. So we will keep on um, creating an atmosphere. We will grow the miracle under the tree of life. And it will really flourish, it will grow. And when it has grown, we will preserve it for the people to know that you are alive and you are busy making miracles. We believe we hold on to a clear word that what no eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind has ever conceived what you have prepared for those who love you. God, we thank you and we believe that the miracle will really happen in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Right now, we will be to the communion. And this is also a promise for me to hold on to. So may we ask the ushers to distribute the emblems. And as we do that, I want to read you some verses. Sabi ni Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 1. And it was me, with me, my brothers and sisters, when I came to you, I did not come with eloquence or human wisdom as I proclaimed you the testimony about God. For I am resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ and Him crucified. You know, in, faith, in life, we are so unsure about communities. Hindi kasi, hindi ka, hindi ka, ano eh, sigurado sa unang magayari sa'yo tomorrow, the next day, the next week. We are not certain about what's gonna happen in our lives. But I like what Paul said here. I am resolved to know nothing when I was with you except Jesus Christ and Him crucified. We don't hold our future. Hindi mo alam ang mayayari sa'yo years from now. You don't know what's gonna happen in the future. But there's only one thing that we need to know, that Jesus Christ is, is, is my Savior. Jesus Christ is the perfecter of my faith. And I only need to fix my eyes on Jesus. So in the day, as we read the next verses, in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23 to 26, For I received from the Lord what I also passed on to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, he took the bread, and when he was given, had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. You know, as we do the communion this morning, we will be meditating on this word. That before God ascended into heaven, He actually left us with a promise. And every time that we do this, hindi ito parang spiritual activity or religious activity. Sige, you cannot distribute the emblems. Hindi lang ito parang tradition na ginagawa natin. But as we do this, I want us to really understand why we keep on doing this. Bakit tayo kumakain ng bread, Drink. That's because we understand what it really means. And si Paul, yung ginawa niya ng bag, bagay na to, hindi siya gumagawa ng, ng religion lang or tradition lang. Because that's exactly what Jesus Christ told him. Kaya ngayon gagawin natin is that we will really receive the promise from God. And we know that there is something great that's happening ahead of us. So I want you to hold on to the, the emblem and the so I want us to really um, understand why we need to do this. So lahat ba meron na buka? So as we do this, we will be um, taking it all together. Sabi na sa verse na yun, verse 24, and when he had, uh, verse 23, the Lord Jesus on the night he was betrayed, took bread and then he had given thanks. He broke it and said, this is my body which is for you. Do this in remembrance. So I want you to just Peel off to your end left. I want to take the bread. And as we pray, this is the body of Jesus Christ. And every time that we take this bread, we take, we share with his suffering, but we also share in his victory. Amen. That's why every time that we take this bread, we are communing with God. We are one with him. Although you here, you just want to really establish a great foundation in your life through Jesus Christ. Amen? We're not sure about what's going to happen in the future, but one thing we know for sure, Jesus Christ is the cornerstone of life. That's why as we do this, we will do this in our presence. Amen? Come on, let's take the bread. Verse 25. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, this cup 
is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. You know, the blood of Jesus is what signified in this drink. The blood of Jesus um, speaks of the life of Jesus Christ. Amen? Because the blood itself is what gives life to the whole body. Imagine what if your heart stops beating and blood doesn't go to the parts where it needs to go and we will all die. But Jesus Christ, He died on the cross for us so that we may Amen? So as we take this cup, when you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death and the so It's like saying, Jesus Christ died for me. Jesus Christ. And I am worthy of the blood. I'm not worthy of, of that blessing, but Jesus Christ was looking into my eyes and said, you're worth dying for. Amen? That's why as we drink this uh, drink, let us really remember God's love for us. And after this, we'll be worshiping all together. And uh, we will just celebrate the goodness of God. Amen? Come on, let's drink this cup. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this wonderful morning. Thank you for allowing us to understand your love. And God, today, as we lay down our lives before you, we thank you for the great miracle that you have given to us, which is the miracle of life. And God, today, as we have taken the bread and the drink, we know, your God, that we are doing this in remembrance of you. We know nothing but the cross. We know nothing but your love, but, but your body, which was shed for us. Your, your body, which was crucified, and your blood, which was shed for us. God, today, as we declare the victory in our lives, we know that it will happen with the blood of Jesus in our lives. So I thank you so much for giving us the victory. And as we continue to worship you in this place, we know, Lord God, that you will really give us your promise, that you will really give us the strength to persevere in our lives.